Hello, my friend. This is Victor Piccini, and welcome to the Be Seen and Heard journey. Videos and audios that will empower you. Hey, it's Victor. Welcome to the Be Seen and Heard journey. Thank you so much for being with me today. Please, when you get a chance, read Deanna's blog. It is awesome. Today I want to start out with a quick story, and that's this. I had the privilege of coaching my son's baseball game last night. Now, I am a, an assistant coach, which means I coach first base, and I know my role, and I'm very comfortable in it. But I had to step outside my comfort zone, and I had to coach third base for the entire game last night, and I was a little nervous. Uh, but I noticed as the game went on and the night ended, I was a little bit more confident than I was before. See, in life, we're going to have to sometimes step outside our comfort zones in order to gain new confidence in a situation. So today's lesson is how do you talk to your child when the unthinkable happens, specifically when a trusted hero in the community is brought forward on charges of abuse. Now, I've been to a lot of school districts and it's happened more than once where a teacher is on trial or going to jail because they abused children. And I get a lot of parents that are scared and that are nervous and they're wanting answers. How do I talk to my child about this? Well, first of all, I think you need to use the proper language when talking to your child. And we have a whole blog on that that we can link to for you. But you can't talk about sexual abuse ideas to a kindergartner, right? You have to make it so that it makes sense for them. I think the most important thing is to talk to our kids about this because what happens is when they find out that a teacher is in this situation, they get nervous, rightfully so, but then it may put a little bit of a, a whole stigma on the trusted heroes, meaning that teachers, are they really trusted heroes? And the answer is yes. It's not the position of being a teacher that abused the child. It's the person who made the bad choice and choices. See, we need to make sure we remind our students that most teachers, most community members, most leaders are not abusers. But unfortunately, it does happen. And so, again, we're going to have to step outside of our comfort zones. I know I do that on a daily basis, being a parent with different situations. But I'm telling you right now, the more you learn about it, the more you're willing to step outside the comfort zone, the more you're going to become confident in that situation or with that topic that you're talking to your child about or whatever it is. So please have that talk with your child. And again, we will link to another page that you can learn about the proper language to talk to your children about. I'm here to say that it's important to tell our kids to have trusted heroes because these are the people that are going to help us in negative situations. And it's also important to tell them that sometimes trusted heroes make bad choices and they are not an authentic trusted hero because if they were, they never would have hurt you. So with that being said, I want to thank you so much uh, for being with me today. Please share this with your family and friends. And remember, all children, no matter how old they are, deserve to be seen and heard. Have a great day. Talk to you next time. Hey, my friend, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Be Seen and Heard journey. If you'd like to follow me, please go to youtube.com forward slash Victor Piccini or instagram.com forward slash childhood victories or head over to facebook.com forward slash childhood victories or visit my website, victorpiccini.com. Please share this with your friends and family. And until next time, be seen and heard.